Hello and welcome to another video this week. Today's theme is forget everything you know about keyword research. This is not just another clickbaity title. We're actually going to do the exact opposite of what everyone does on the App Store. And this is a good thing because 99% of developers on the App Store don't make any money. The 1%, however, are taking all the winnings home. In the last 12 months, I started a new App Studio with my friend Evrim. Every single app we have launched in the last 12 months has made money. Some make more money, some make less, but they all make money. We do no advertising, no marketing, we don't run any ads, we have no team, it's just the two of us. And today I'll show you how we do keyword research so that you can do it the same way and finally stop struggling on the App Store. So the agenda for today is, we're gonna talk about how most people do keyword research and why it is a miserable experience, how we do keyword research and why it generates revenue every single time. I'll show you some case studies from apps that we launched in the last 12 months and we're going to do actual live keyword research in this video so there are two primary ways to do keyword research and really two ways to build an app and two ways to create an app business normally people start off with a brilliant idea or what they think is a brilliant idea to build an app they spend a couple of months building an mvp or maybe a full-blown product they do a big launch and then nothing happens crickets nobody cares so they think, hmm, I should probably do some marketing. So they might do some social media, start posting on Reddit, try to pretend to be an organic user and try to get some attention. Maybe they'd run ads. Maybe they even pay for expensive consultants. I know because I used to be one of those consultants. I used to charge $500 an hour to tell people how to do this thing. I'm going to explain it to you here in the video in the next few minutes for free so you don't have to pay $500 but this is what people do when they are desperate. And I really tried to tell them the truth and help them, but they wouldn't listen because they really drill down their own idea of how this should work. Then, then finally they think, oh, maybe I should do some app store optimization. They do some keyword research and trying to find some keywords and squeeze them into the app metadata so that maybe they get some ranking and they maybe get some attention. They do this for a couple of months, maybe a couple of years with a lot of frustration and eventually they quit. This is the story of 99% of app developers. And it was my story for the first nine years on the App Store. I've been on the App Store now for 10 years. The first nine years, either I got lucky, we had some big wins, but they were luck, I couldn't replicate, or a lot of frustration and a lot of quitting, a lot of apps that didn't work out. The last 12 months, I flipped the script completely upside down. We have built about 14 apps in the last 12 months, Every single one of them makes money. Like I said, some make more, some make less, but they all make money with no advertising. So how do we do it? It's super simple. It actually falls down to supply and demand. Every single business in the world follows the law of supply and demand, but for some reason on the App Store, we don't do this. There are so many people that come to me that wanna do another meditation app, another workout app, without any angle or without any idea if there is demand and really no idea what the competition looks like. So we flip the script completely upside down. So the first thing we do, we start every project with keyword research. We have no idea what we're going to build, we start off by doing keyword research. This entire method, I coined the term, the trending keyword method. So the objective is to find keywords that have not been popular in the past, but are popular now. So they're recently trending upwards and there is either very bad competition or no competition at all. So recently trending and no competition. And don't worry, you don't have to remember all of this stuff. I'll walk you through the actual keyword research and I'll show you the case study of what exactly the data looks like to find this type of trending keyword method. So we'll find a trending keyword that's trending, no competition. We'll build a tiny mini product. So on average, it takes us five days now to go from idea to launch that on the App Store we immediately get a ranking on the App Store because there's no competition and it's recently trending. So there's a lot of people searching for this. So Apple is more than happy to show us as number one for this keyword that we found. Then we get installs, we get trials because we have a paywall in every app from the beginning. We immediately get revenue. We celebrate every single app because they're all success in the last 12 months and we repeat the process. It is so simple but it works every single time. So I wanna show you a couple of case studies, starting with the last app that we built. I have an inner circle, a small community of active app builders that are following the trending keywords method. 
It is a paid community because everybody's serious about building and succeeding on the App Store. One of the people in the community said, opening App Store Connect used to be a bit disappointing, but this time it's actually exciting to check the numbers because he's following the trending keyword method. And here is a forum inside the community and I share every single app in detail. So I wanted to share something with you as well. We launched a new app and you can see we launched it immediately from day one, we started to get installs. So we started about 40, 50 installs per day and this continued climbing. We had a paywall and immediately started to get all of the trials coming in. No advertising, no marketing. As you can see, this is our keyword rank. So when we launched on the first day, we ranked number 35, then number 10, number three, and within the fifth day, we're number one and we stayed number one this entire time. This is what most of our apps look like right now. When you rank number one for a keyword, you get all the installs, you get all the trials, and you get all of the revenue. Of course, I will drop a link in the description of the video if you wanna check out the school. I also have a classroom where I'm putting all of my courses with no extra charge. And here we do real-time keyword research. And I also share my checklist that I do for every single keyword. Okay, so now you know that you need to flip the script upside down and you're going to generate revenue from day one with no marketing and no advertising. Let me show you some other recent case studies from some of the apps. One of the 14 apps that we launched is called Hair Product Scanner. I was doing my keyword research as I will show you in a second exactly what the method looks like. And I found this keyword, Hair Product Scanner. As you can see, search volume was very low, about eight, which is basically nothing. Then it went up to 18 to 20, which is starting to look like there's some potential. Here in mid-May, we launched the app at 20, and now the keyword started to go up a lot and now it's a 27 which is decent enough to give you a couple thousand dollars a month in revenue so we launched the app and here's what our ranking looks like As you can see we launched may 23rd started with 35 again no marketing no advertising no aso and we skyrocketed to number five and then we became number two and now we hover between three and two we're going to do some updates and eventually we'll make it to number one as you can see we launched the app here and then we did a short update over here we haven't touched the app since then. This is what the app looks like. So here's some screenshots that we use on the app store. It's a very simple app. Um, there's some onboarding about the hair type. You scan a hair product and then it gives you the ingredients and it shows you if it's safe or not for your hair type. We used AI for all of this. Super simple. This took us less than a week to build and it's generating revenue from day one. Another great example is chair yoga for seniors. So I spotted the keyword chair yoga for seniors. It was doing already pretty well last August, so almost a year ago. And it had a search volume of 31. At 31, I think that's a very decent search volume. Again, with this search volume, if you rank in the top five, top three, you can do a couple thousand dollars in revenue. And it's been going up since then and continues to increase. And now it's at 40, which is very, very good. So we launched the app over here, and as you can see right away, we ranked in number 80 or 90 for a couple of days, and then the algorithm picked up. We didn't do anything. As you can see, we did no updates, no marketing, no ASO. We became number 27 near the top 20. Then we did a couple of updates over the following months, and then we made it up, and now we're in top 10, so we're going between 10, 13, 14, and we're gonna continue doing updates and eventually we're gonna make it to number one. And this is what the app looks like on the app store. So it's a super simple app. We just have a flow of a couple of days where we do chair yoga exercises for seniors. I am actually the instructor for this one and we had a lot of fun doing the app, but it's super simple, small onboarding, you have the flow and then the exercises. There's really not much to it. Now, when you first came here, you're probably wondering that you wanted to see traditional ASO keyword research. We're not going to do that because it doesn't work. If you have an app and you rank in number 50 or, you're, or number 100 on the keyword meditation, you have another meditation app, it's not gonna help to do traditional keyword research and try to find some keywords to stuff in your description and keyword field and subtitle. Trust me, I've been on the app store for a decade, it does not work. So what we do is we first do keyword research and then we build the app. And right now I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So I have been using AppTweak software, which is my favorite software for keyword research for the trending keywords. So all the, all the data you have seen is from AppTweak. I do use the enterprise level subscription and you need a subscription in order to see the trending keywords. 
And before you quit the video, don't worry, I do have a solution for you if you don't want to pay for it. Inside my school.com slash app success community, I do a live call every single week where I do keyword research. I share my screen every single week and then the keywords that we find go to the community and then guys built the apps from there. If you do want to use Apps Week, I have an affiliate program with them so you can use the coupon code DARIAS10 to get 10% off. All right, so let me show you what a keyword research would look like if we're building a new app. Now, let me clarify. Every single week, there are hundreds of keywords that are trending on the App Store. When we're actively looking to build a new app, I find a keyword every single time. I've never had a dry spell where we couldn't find the right keyword. So inside App Tweak, I'm in the trending category. Now there's a trending for the last week, last 30 days and 90 days. We're going to use the last week as an example. The brilliant thing about App Tweak is that you get a number here indicating what has been the increase in the search volume. So for example, let me add this keyword over here, protection. And as you can see, it went from search volume of 18, which is pretty low, to 40, which is fantastic. So this would be an interesting keyword for me to look at. My normal methodology is first I look at the search volume and I'll go back in history and I'll maybe I'll look at the last year and look at the trend. So this looks pretty good. Now I would be a bit concerned about this because usually when we see a huge spike over one day or like in this case it's about two three days it usually means something was viral on social media. So for some reason this went very high and then this type of trend tends to drop down back to the original search volume of 18 and so I like to wait a couple of days or a couple of weeks. Ideally, you want to see a steady, slow increase upward, not like a huge spike on day one. So I'd mark this and I would continue watching it. The second thing I do is I do a live search to see if there are already any apps using that exact keyword. So in this case, people are looking for protection. Now, I don't know if people are looking for like physical protection on the street or protection of their phone from viruses. Now here it would, I would assume that people are looking for some kind of a, a cyber security for their phone because the first search results are about security and privacy, VPN, security, hacker defense, protection and privacy, hacker protection. So this would be an interesting keyword because the top two apps are not using it. This one has it uh, in this position, but not a lot of apps are using that keyword. So what I would do is I would launch an app I would put the keyword at the beginning of the title and it's all you have to do. You only have to put the keyword in the beginning of the title and then you can put it in the description as well. But the description on the App Store is not indexed for keywords on ASO. That's literally all you have to do. You will not have to do any other ASO or keyword research or do any other hacks. If there's no competition and high search volume, Apple will happily recommend your app as number one. My only concern in this case would be that these are more difficult apps to build. This is not like a five day project. This would take a couple of weeks or a couple of months. And it's a very strong competition over here. These apps have huge volumes of ratings and reviews and they're very well ranked. So that would be my only concern, but something to watch out for. Let's look at a couple of other apps. Now, a lot of these apps will be specific brand names. You might find something like Run Disney. And obviously this is people looking for a specific Disney app. And so I would not build anything in here because there's competition. People are looking for a strong brand. So the best keywords that are trending are generic terms. Like I showed you before, we had the hair product scanner, not a specific brand, just generic term. Also chair yoga for seniors. Audio convert, that is a good term. The search volume is good. Again, there was a huge spike in day one, so maybe I would not consider this one to be um, interesting. I would continue watching this keyword over the next few days, see if the ranking stays. Beauty Cam is an interesting one, uh, but somebody's already using it. As you can see, App Tweak already gives me an app that's using that exact keyword in the title. So if you're looking for this keyword, therefore I wouldn't go into it. For example, Mind Valley is a specific brand, so there's been a search increase, which is great. But Mindvalley is a huge company. They do personal development software and they have an app. So that's what people are looking for. Family life events. This is an interesting keyword, but it's a specific app. So that one we don't even have to go into. All right, so this is the process that I use for looking for trending keywords. I recommend that you look at last seven days, 30 days, 90 days. And if you look every day, 
Within a week, I guarantee you, you'll find a couple of interesting options. Even just on this few minutes, I've already found a few that I would look at. And my favorite one was protection. So that's something that we might actually consider building ourselves. Now, you know, the traditional ISO is pretty useless that we do weekly calls in the live community. And you know how to do live trending keyword method based on data not based on ideas. If you're serious about taking your app business to the next level, I invite you, of course, to join the app success community. Link in the description below. Let me know what you think. Please leave a comment on the video. I answer every single question. I hope this is valuable and I hope you have a beautiful week. I'll see you next week.